in search of the credible. So we have been, we've been searching for an incredible laptop. So here we have the Asus and the spec of this is what really attracted us. So it's got 16 gig of RAM, it's got an i7 processor, 15.6 inch HD screen. It comes with um, 128 gig SSD and one terabyte um, hard disk. It's got a dedicated GeForce GTX 1060 with six gig of RAM on there. So let's open it up and have a look. So purchased from a company called box.co.uk for around a thousand pounds. Been looking quite longing hard for a laptop, a gaming one. So this sort of appealed in terms of spec. So it's actually had a memory upgrade on there. So the normal spec is with eight gig of RAM. So this one's got obviously 16. And let's open it up. Okay, first of all, comes with a laptop uh, bag, a uh, rucksack, and a box containing the actual laptop. So, as I've got the laptop rucksack here anyway, I'll open it up so you can quickly see what that's like. Wasn't too bothered about really this, um, but it came part of the deal anyway. There you go, branding on there. Build quality seems okay, very padded at the back. And if I just quickly check the side, open up the zip, and that's it. It's got a little slot here to enable you to hold the, the laptop. Nothing too amazing, seems okay. But again, weren't after a rucksack. Right, here we go in search of incredible. So have a quick look around the box here. Details there, a few bits and pieces and nothing more. So let's open it up. Okay, it seems it opens up like that. So if I put it down, pop that down. Okay, let's carefully take this out, it's the laptop, bit of a weight to this, let's put it to the side, okay, warranty card, details, multi-language, Okay, user guide is here. This is all in English, it looks. And on this side, English as well. It's great. And unlimited protection for all your devices starts now. So McAfee Live Safe. Okay. And let's see what you get in here. Empty area. A bit strange okay and in here got a big chunky power supply really that's quite quite hefty and in terms of power you've got output of 19.5 sorry 19.5 volts and 9.23 amps but very bulky really okay and a power adapter and that's it. Is there anything here? Nope, nothing there either. Okay, so let's close this. Nothing more on there. Okay, so I've laid out everything you get in the package. Not really immense amount of stuff in there. Obviously, you've got the cable for the power adapter. Build quality seems fine. UK standard with um, uh, a fuse in there. Build quality, nothing amazing. It's just the cable, right? Nothing to be concerned about. Um, in terms of the power adapter, I thought I'd just briefly mention the actual size of this. So, seven and a half by 
around 16 and around three. So it is quite large. Now, what we're here really here for, the laptop itself, quite a weight to that, to be honest. It is heavy, obviously, with all the components in there. We'll give you a quick size on that. So that's 26. Um, ruler's not big enough, but we can sort of give you a rough estimate. So 30. Thirty-eight, round thirty-eight, just a little bit over thirty-eight, and the actual depth of it. So in terms of depth, we're talking about two and a half. Okay, just to show the ports you have on this. So there's the power in. If you've got your Ethernet gigabit port there. You've got HDMI, and then you've got two USB, and then you've got a headphone jack. I we'll carry on spinning it around. Nothing on the front. Keep going. And then on this side, let it focus in the camera. You've got a SD card slot there to read SD cards. Then you've got another USB and then a locking point here. Let's keep going around the back and nothing around the back. Okay, if we look at the bottom of this, lots of vents. And it looks like you can just see the sort of components a little bit just behind there, but obviously just to ensure it stays cool. And on here, there's nothing there. Okay, so if I show around the sides, I can see some grills there and another grill around here. So that could possibly be speakers maybe. Okay, let's open it up. There you go. Looks wise, it looks very cool. Very nice sort of build quality to it. Um, rigidity wise, let's try it. It's actually very solid. It doesn't feel very flimsy or anything. And obviously there's a bit of play on here, but that's expected on most laptops. Let's give you a bit of a zoom of the actual keyboard itself. So, sort of lines going down there. Not a very soft finish on there, so a smooth finish. It's more of a sort of matte on there. Okay, so the keyboard on the laptop. Standard laptop type keyboard. Seems okay, pretty comfortable to work with. Smooth trackpad on there. You've got some indicators here. Battery, hard disk, and that looks like airplane mode and obviously the power. Okay, so I've got the power plugged in. I haven't plugged it into the actual laptop yet. Let's get that plugged in. So just up here at the side. And let's open the screen up and let's turn it on for first use. Okay, so see the light come on there indicating it's charging now just powered it on pretty silent if you can hear you can't really hear it too loud but perhaps as it's pushed maybe you might see here the fans go a bit more crazy another thing to note Obviously VR ready, so you can put in a VR system onto it. Okay, so the fans kicked in a bit more. You can hear it a bit more now. Okay, so let's go through the initial setup of this. So English, United Kingdom. Hi there, I'm Cortana. And I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. You can use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the sound icon. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control and Enter keys at the same time to enable narrator. 
Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. Your region is set to United Kingdom. Is that correct? Your keyboard is set to United. Do you also type with another keyboard layout? Next up, the legal stuff. Okay, the license will just accept now, that. Now, let's get you connected to a network. Let's connect to our Wi-Fi. That way, you can wifi. get updates, apps, and cat videos as soon as possible. How about the first one on the list? Now, type your credentials. Okay, so we typed our password for Wi-Fi. Oh, don't want it to be discoverable. Mission accomplished. You're okay. all linked up. It's connected to Wi-Fi. Just for all now. Right. You're connected. Now, we'll check for any updates. And some. Hang tight while we get them installed. Don't turn off your device, please. It'll mess things up. Finished. You're up to date. Your computer will restart and keep updating. Okay, so we'll leave it just to go through the updates. Type your email address or phone number, then follow the instructions to sign in. I'll catch up with you once that's done. Okay, we're going to go for an offline account. You're about to set up an offline account, but I wanted to make sure you know Windows works far better with them. Type oh. what you want to name your account. Okay, that will be Geek Street. Okay, now type a password for your account. Make sure we've got it right. Okay. I'm doing password one, two, three. Great. Now, with an offline account, the only way to retrieve your password, password. if you forget. Hey, look, it's the me part of setup. Can I have. No. Nope. These are the settings timer. that Microsoft recommends. Review them now and select accept when you're ready. Location, don't need that. Diagnostics, no. Nope. And relevant apps, adds no. Nope. Just accept that. Your device manufacturer would like your contact details to send you updates and helpful info. Skip that for now. Okay, that's the last step. We need to get a few more things polished up for you and Windows will be all yours. Looking forward to helping out. Okay, so we're all ready to go. There you go. So it seems like it's still working away in the background. Nearly there. And there you go. Started up. That wasn't too painful and it's ready to go. Okay, so just to show the actual processor in the laptop, so just showing there. So it's an Intel Core i7 and running at 2.8 gigahertz. With Turbo Boost, it can go up to 3.8 gigahertz. And in terms of memory, you can just see it there. 16 gig installed. Okay, we're in the NVIDIA control panel. Just wanted to show the actual memory on the graphics card here. So if we just look here, just confirms we've got six gig. Okay, next, let me show the actual disk configuration on there. So you've got two disks. One is a 128 gig disk and the other one is one terabyte. And that's how it's sort of partitioned up. Okay, so next, let me show the networking side of things. So you've got three different network adapters in there. So the first one on the left being the Bluetooth network connection. So that's just here. And then you've got your ethernet and your Wi-Fi. So in terms of ethernet, just showing there, I've put an ethernet cable into the laptop 
and it's connected to an ethernet switch and there's the link speed. So you're getting one gigabit speed. Okay, so let me show you the display resolutions available on this laptop. So we're at the optimum setting at the moment, which is 1920 by 1080, so 1080p. There's the other ones available in there. Display dryer, display adapter properties. Let's have a quick look in there and monitor and screen refresh. So it's at 60 Hertz. So it doesn't go any higher than that, it seems. Okay, so we're on YouTube at the moment and I've gone to our travels channel, Geek Street Travels. And let me just play a video off there just to sort of show how streaming goes and sound quality wise, how it seems. Okay, I'm gonna push the laptop back a bit just to show. And I can hear the sound coming out this side. So it does seem like two speakers. Just at the bottom there. In terms of picture quality, seems good. Very clear. And what I could do, if I just change the angle just to show, there's a lot of light coming in from this side. Let me go this side. So not too bad at an angle. Obviously, optimum viewing is straight on. Bring it back. And let's take it up to the max. So at the moment, it's 67%. Not bad for a laptop. Not heavily bassy or anything, but sufficient. Not distorting in any way. So, very good. And let me just show the resolution I've got selected there. So 1080p. And I'll go into maximum again. Clarity is very good. Let's carry on playing that just to show. With all the colors and everything, it is very good. Obviously, it's not an IPS panel, so if you do turn the away and focus from the side, clarity does go a little bit. But still, viewing angle-wise, even at a slightly wider angle, it's not that bad. So there you go, pretty, pretty impressed. And quite a nice, nice display on there. Okay, so next I'm going to show the function keys. So you've got function key here and F1 there. If I press that, mutes it. As you can see, and here, if I press F2, lowers the volume. F3, increases the volume. F4, microphone is off, microphone's back on. F5 is overboost fan mode and auto fan mode and overboost fan mode. So it just flips between the two. F6 kills the display. Press it again, comes back again. F7 lowers the brightness, increases it again. And F9, you can project it onto another display. So extend your display. Um, F10, it disables the touchpad here. Um, F11 actually puts the computer to sleep. F12 puts on flight mode. And then you've got the arrow keys here that adjusts the brightness of the actual backlight. So you can take it down to off. And if I bring it back on again, that's max brightness. Okay, so I've got my stopwatch here on my phone and we're gonna actually time how long it takes this laptop to boot up and then I'm gonna log in. Obviously that's gonna be a bit of a delay and then I'm gonna start up the web browser and go straight into YouTube. So let's see how long that would take. So let's 
Go. Are you ready to log in? About nine seconds for it to boot up. Okay, 14 seconds, 15 seconds at the moment. Let's open up a web browser. It's going into YouTube. There you go. It was about 23, 24 seconds. Pretty good. And it's already kicked in. No delay, no pauses, no nothing. It's a nine second boot up to login stage. So pretty good, pretty fast as well. Okay, so next let's run some benchmark tests on this. So first of all, I'm gonna run the OpenGL test. Let's hit run. Okay, so the benchmark has completed and this is what we're getting. So in terms of graphics, it's at the top in this benchmark. So frames per second wise, get 113.48 frames per second. Okay, next let's do the CPU test. Okay, so the CPU test has completed and it's come in at fourth here in terms of performance on there. So has been superseded by other ones on the list. So performance wise, it is very good. Okay, so in terms of the keyboard, you've got a reasonably comfortable position here. Obviously it is tough plastic on this area and a backlit keyboard and a slight backlight around the actual trackpad. In terms of actual usage, it feels quite nice and comfortable to type. The keys feel quite good. No sticking as you're pressing it. There is a bit of play on the actual keyboard itself, if you can see. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see that for yourself. A little bit of movement as you're pressing. A little bit surprised about that. You don't see that that often, that sort of movement. But generally, in terms of typing ability, seems fine. And even the trackpad itself, nice and smooth and very accurate in its performance. So very good. Okay, just to show, if you look at the actual screen at an angle, just to show the clarity you'd get. So not too bad. You can still see it fairly clearly. With some laptops, obviously, it is very poor. But in this one, I am quite impressed. No real loss or great loss in actual picture. Picture quality wise, it is good. Not as good as an IPS screen would be, but still nice and sufficient. Okay, so one of the things I wanted to show is the actual noise from the laptop. So if you're gaming and it's working quite intensively, you can hear a lot of noise come out of the laptop. So there you go, if you can hear that in the background. But general use, it's not as noisy as this. It's only if you're really gaming, it's just gonna go crazy and obviously try and keep things cool inside. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna test out is gaming on the laptop. So here we have Fortnite running on there. And as you can see, just over there, all the settings are set to epic mode. And let's go into the gameplay right now. And if you can see, I don't know how clearly it can be seen just around that region. I've seen it go up to about 90 frames per second. So at the moment, it's around the 70, 70 range. Works really well, no lag at all. One thing to note though, if you've not plugged it into the power and it's running straight off your battery, you're gonna get a frame rate of around 20 to 30 on this. So I think that's just the power plan sort of setting on there just to avoid it running out of power quickly. So best to have it plugged in if you're gonna be gaming intensively on there. So there you go, works really well.
Okay, so the next game we're gonna show is Hitman. And we're actually at the graphics option. And if you look down, we've just set maximum on everything. So ultra and high, generally. So okay, let's go to the gameplay and just show what you're getting. Not extremely clear, but if I can show just in that corner, we're seeing around 60 frames per second. And again, gameplay is amazing. No lag or anything, just very smooth. And there you go. Video play there in the corner showing 60 frames per second as well. So there you go. Gaming wise, it is very good. Okay, so the next one we're showing is Euro Truck Simulator 2. And just to show, again, we're getting 60 frames per second, just like in Hitman. And all very smooth. No struggle at all on the game. Very impressive indeed. Okay, so we were in search of the incredible and I think we found it. Now this laptop, we were blown away by it. Spec wise, really good. Intel Core i7 on there. We've got 16 gig of RAM, got 128 gig SSD storage, and we've got a terabyte in there as well. In terms of graphics, we've got a dedicated Nvidia GeForce GTX 1060 with six gig of dedicated memory on there. In terms of Ethernet, you've got um, an Ethernet port which can support gigabit connections, which is good. HDMI on there as well. We've got integrated sound and we've got three USB 3 ports on there. Okay, in terms of battery life, they say it's about three to four hours. You're probably going to get a little bit less on there if you're gaming. Performance wise, it is very good. Benchmarks tests sort of showed. In terms of graphics, it came in very high. In, per, in terms of CPU, it was quite high as well. So very impressed by that. Noise levels are very loud on there. So when you're gaming, it is quite noisy. So you can hear the fan just going crazy a little bit, but not an issue. Keyboard and trackpad are quite comfortable to work with. It's nice, it's a backlit keyboard as well. So generally, really pleased with this, no real issues. Price-wise, it came in at a thousand pounds. Links are in the description if anyone's interested in buying a similar sort of laptop. So the general laptop, they sell the Asus one of this. It comes with eight gig, but we went for the memory upgrade on there, so to get 16 gig on there. So there you go. Hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Thanks for viewing, and don't forget to like and subscribe.